An Eastern Carolina man was separated from his family who packed up and moved all the way to England just before the holidays. The separation happened because they are having trouble clearing the necessary steps to transport their pet pig. Derek Rush is live now from Jacksonville and Derek, it sounds a lot like there is a lot of red tape going on here. Yeah, you know, Dave, when you when you think about it, this Castillo family was looking forward to bringing their American style Thanksgiving across the pond to their new home in England. But when you when you factor in a pet pig into the entire scenario, Dave, like you just said, uh, the red tape list gets longer when it comes to updated health records. Those hoops just get a little bit tighter to jump through. And the family told me that this brings the adage when pigs fly a whole new meaning. This is Wilbur, the international pig of mystery. Ruben Castillo of Jacksonville says his pet pig, Wilbur, has a pretty good setup. Castillo's wife, Allison, says the same. I mean, he's just this grumpy old pig who, you know, does what he wants. Ruben and Wilbur had to spend Thanksgiving separated from Allison and the rest of the family who have moved over to England. The red tape, the family says, feels like a mile long. And moving a pig, it's not like moving a pet. You have the requirements of moving a pet, but you also have the USDA requirements for agriculture, moving livestock, and that complicates it a hundredfold. From Wilbur being required to have a series of blood tests for things like pseudo rabies and other diseases by a USDA accredited vet, all the way down to the dimensions and materials the shipping crate are made out of. Castillo says the USDA and British policies for transporting pet pigs require an isolation period to ensure Wilbur does not have any disease. And then to keep consistently hitting these red tape issues, you lie awake with the little squirrels running around your head going, did we check every box? Uh, the blood can't even be drawn until the 21 day mark, which is December 4th. But then those results come back, they get entered onto the health certificate and then it has to be signed. The, the last two days of uh, his isolation, there's supposed to be another health visit just to make sure nothing's happened since the blood draw. But this pig and his family are determined. We have you know, our, our duty to him as his family, and then also selfishly just love him to bits. To be together again when pigs fly. To fly. That pig will fly. <laughs> that pig will fly, right? Now, Allison Castillo has a long list of degrees and certifications in animal uh, rescue and other different factors that make this a no pet left behind kind of stance that the family is taking right now as it pertains to getting Wilbur across the pond. And I talked to Ruben earlier at their former home and he was just kind of telling me, you know, um, this has gained a lot of traction, Dave. You know, vets um, around the country and colleagues and friends of both his and Allison have created a GoFundMe to help uh, to help foot the bill for some of the extra expenses that have come to uh, getting Wilbur across the pond. Some of those have hit the desk of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ruben said they sent him a message earlier, hoping that he would be able to contribute to the GoFundMe as well. Dave saying that he too is a pet pig owner. Reporting live here in Jacksonville, I'm Derek Rush. WITN News. Dave. Certainly an unusual story. All right, thanks, Derek. The Castillos have created a Facebook page called Wilbur Pig, a daily dose to track Reuben and Wilbur's remaining steps. And their story has even gained attention from the British Broadcasting Corporation.